Hi guys, Sai here, and today we're switching up the pace to a little more theoretical redstone um, sort of approach than the last few videos. Here we have a toggleable clock. You've probably all seen something like this before. This, unfortunately, is pathetically easy to break. If we go... Like so. Really easy to break. It doesn't matter where it is, you can just do that. Loads and loads of combinations to break it and the longer the clock is the easier it becomes this is my variation on a toggleable clock it's four by four by five which is pretty compact i'd say and it's really really difficult to break um oh, <laughs> i placed a block there i'll just get my crosshairs out The reason for this is because the power being supplied to the clock to start it up is actually dependent on whether the clock is closed. So if the clock's not closed, the power can't be supplied at all. Um, uh, and if the clock's not finished, it won't close. Um, if I move the input to here, here, the block underneath the redstone and here are all valid inputs. Um, beneath it isn't because of the torch, and to this side isn't because, as you saw before, that leads to a clock here. Uh, so if I put the input here for demonstration, as you can see, these two lines are completely inverted. This line is on whenever none of the repeaters apart from, oh sorry, Th this line at the bottom is on whenever power would be supplied from the torch if the piston was retracted, so therefore the this line which is holding the piston open, if we close this off, doesn't allow the piston to retract unless there is power already going to be being supplied into this line, which means that you can't actually put any more than the standard pulse into it. And this is really handy. This can be extended um, by, like, uh, if we, this is still, f uh, which way is that? that's it. So if we put two repeaters here, we've extended it to 16 ticks, or these could be on one tick and it would be a, it clock in that case uh, you all you need to do is make sure that power is running from the input of every repeater apart from the one that powers the block from the input of all of those repeaters down to the piston and um, I'm using these uh, the half slabs because half slabs don't transmit power down so this is essentially functioning like a single directional OR gate which is quite nice. And as you can see, we can spam this and nothing happens. If we turn this off and set these down to one tick, so we've got a four tick clock. And again, it's not breaking, which is really quite nice. Um, and yeah, this is extendable as much as you want. However, there is a positional bug, which is really awkward. So I would suggest if you're going to build this really close in with something else, build it first. Because this one works. This one works. And this one, which is exactly the same, doesn't work. Yeah, I have no idea why this happens, because if you look, all these times that the piston's retracting, there's power here, so the piston shouldn't ever be retracting, really. It's flickering a bit, but not at the rate that that is going. So, yeah, I have no idea what go what's going on here. Um, fix your game, Jeb. <laughs> uh, uh, you can 
reset it by doing that but i wouldn't suggest it it's just not worth it if it's in a position like that and this doing that can solve it sometimes but it seems once you find a buggy one it tends to be fairly buggy for different settings whereas if you find a stable one it tends to be pretty stable for most settings um yeah so i suppose i should uh, build one of these now and hope i build it in a position that works for tutorial right so we want to start off with the loop like so and then you build out from this so we can put redstone up here here and here repeaters here 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 and then we want our block here redstone torch on that and a sticky piston with a block attached to it then wire down here only this isn't going to work and as you can see if we have it like this and extend the sticky piston we'll create an infinite loop of power running here so we have to raise this block by one don't know why i destroyed it first that was very stupid of me um and then we want the lock added in which is just you build up like that put redstone on top and then you carry on down as far as you want to go with just half slabs every second one of these half slabs doesn't technically have to be a half slab but why would you bother alternating if you can just use them? makes no sense especially since the cheaper and then as i said before you've got inputs here here and here and let's check if this one's a working one it does appear to be Uh, that, what you saw just there, the uh, piston extending and flicking back for one tick isn't a problem. It just means you get an extra clock cycle, uh, which generally isn't an issue. It's having clock cycles with the wrong pulses in the wrong places, which is normally a problem for stuff that's trying... Where you've got, like, say, two pistons trying to push a block into the same place, and then one of them will get jammed if they're both active at the same time. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope this is useful to you. It's certainly a lot more complex to make than most of my other... Th well, no. Difficult to figure out. Not necessarily complex. Making redstone small. I had no idea how little I knew about redstone until yesterday. Um, but yeah, as always, I do my best to learn everything all the time, so... Uh, I, I think I'm getting a bit better, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it's useful to you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.